Hello folks. Well, you've probably seen this setup. This is the complete setup that goes in the F-16 that I wasn't able to uh, run because the head has the glow plug holes are stripped out of it. So what I'm going to do is I got a kit to put new threads in it. We're going to see how that works. And I'm going to show you how I do that. And then we're going to go ahead and run it. And uh, this is my setup. So let's see how it works. When I made my latest electrified F-16 jet video, I had planned to run this engine and the stock fire inducted fan to show you the difference. But as you can see, when I got this engine, the threads were completely stripped out. So I'm going to show you how I fixed them, and then we're going to run the engine today. Here we go. Well, I searched the internet for a threading kit and mostly found the same answers pointing to a glow plug thread repair kit that cost 99 bucks. Well, that seemed pretty high, so I kept searching, and I found this kit from BlindRivetSupply.com. I put a link in the description box in case you need something like this. Well, getting a drill and a tap would be no problem, but the thread insert was the needed item. The thread size for standard glow plugs is 1 quarter by 32. Well, this kit contains all the tools needed to do this, plus there were 14 inserts, and it only cost $38.02 plus shipping. There's no directions, so here's how I began and did it. Okay, I've mounted the head with uh, two pieces of wood in between. It's nice and flat. All lined up. We're gonna drill a hole in the head now. Here we go. All right, there's our hole. Now, we're gonna have to thread it. Let's see what that goes like. First, we're gonna clean all that filings out of there. And we're gonna use the tap. Okay, I'm gonna we'll be rotating this by hand and applying pressure over here and we're gonna run that tab down in there. Okay, I've loosened the head up here, as you can see, so as it goes down, it will screw and lift up. That's the plan anyway. Make sure it's all centered. And I'm gonna start turning now with some slight pressure on here. Seems to be going just fine. So far, so good. And it seems to be there. So now, let's see. Pick this up. There it is, screwed in there. So now, take this out of here. Unscrew the head down. And there we are, beautiful threads. So now we're going to insert the coil. Okay, since the threads are a little bit longer than the uh, glow plug with the washer on there, I'm going to have to shorten them. So, I'm going to make a mark here, and I'm going to cut that right there. There's one, two, 
two, three, and one more. Now, that's the proper length of the glow plug. Okay, next I'm going to put red uh, 271. This is the highest strength on the threads, and we're going to thread it into the head here. And you want to make it flush on the top. So let's see how this goes. And I'm going to screw that into the threads. The tool that comes with the thread locker kit fits right inside this spring and grabs the tang. It twists on very easily. Almost down flush. A little bit more. And now that is flush. There's a tiny notch, you can see it here, it's red in the coil so you can break that tang right off. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna wipe out the thread locker so it's not on the inside of these threads or I won't be able to get the glow plug out. There we go. Looks great. It really does. Put the glow plug in and see what happens. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Gonna go ahead and put the glow plug in there. Since I can't reach it, I'll get it started with this piece of neoprene. And that went right in just nicely. And now I'm gonna put the wrench on there. Beautiful. Okay, let's give it a shot. Put the clove driver on there and see if it works. Yes, we got a nice glow. This part right here, it actually slides through the header pipe inside so you can lengthen this or shorten it. That's how you could get the tune on the pipe. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do because this is all inside the jet. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. It's intimidating, as they always were, and especially when it's sitting out here like that. But the glow plug works really great. <laughs> well, as you can see, I need to spend more time fiddling with the tune pipe length and both high and low speed needle valves. But I think you get the idea why I like my electrified version better. Thanks a lot for watching, and please subscribe. This is Dave. See you next time.